meeting with the director tomorrow of uh, DC uh, Department of Transportation to say hey let's maybe do a couple neighborhoods where we can do some curbside charging as well. We are also running a mid-Atlantic electrification project. Uh, we're going to put out over 300 uh, public charging stations around the region and we're promoting electric school buses as well. Lots wow. to do. That's awesome. Ooh. So Aisha, do you have any questions for Antoine? I do. So Antoine, I think that uh, in terms of the city uh, of D.C. And, and the surrounding areas, I would say we've got, in terms of grid capacity, probably about a third of the area, but I think we still we still got to do a lot of education and outreach. Though. Okay. Yes. And what opportunities are there for multifamily operators to install electric charging stations at their property? Well, we have, um, for our Mid-Atlantic Electrification Program, we can actually provide a, an electric uh, charging station, and whether it's for property you are working with, and we can get, hopefully, my good friend Cheryl here to, who actually installs EV charging stations to actually put it in. And Cheryl, you're a, you're a stakeholder. I am a stakeholder, yes. I'm very excited about the things that are happening in the world of electrification of transportation. Look forward to supporting other Washingtonians. I'm a native Washingtonian be an early mover in this space is very exciting. There's lots of opportunities and benefits. We hope to go out very soon in the near future to do more around educating, training, as well as installing the infrastructure for the EV vehicles. Thank you so much. Well, this is day two of Coast to Coast EV Road Trip. I'm Daphne Dixon. I'm also here with my co co <laughs> Alyssa Murphy is behind the cameras. So shout out to Alyssa Murphy. And join us on Facebook on Life on the EV Highway. See you there. See you. Woo. So, Daphne, if you could just share with folks why we're here today and why this matters.